Hello, Jonathan Landeros for Kativ Technologies. In this week's video, I'm going to show how a tool called Conditional Feature Suppression can help add intelligence to your models without having to touch customizations such as VBA or iLogic. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. Here, I'm showing a very common woodworking tool called a bench dog, which is placed into circular openings in a workbench and clamps boards from the side so they can be worked on. In this particular example, I have a bench dog that has variants of an inch per side and one and a half inches per side. And what I've got is text that shows the one inch bench dog, and if I change suppressions, shows the inch and a half bench dog so they can be easily identified without having to measure them. But now what I'd like to do is quickly and automatically alternate between the two types of text when the face of the dog changes from an inch to an inch and a half and back. Now I could use VBA or iLogic, but what if I need to be able to reproduce this and this needs to be reproducible by someone who may not be familiar with tools such as VBA or iLogic. There is still a way and that way is called conditional feature suppression. So let's set that up. Now the first thing I'm going to do isn't strictly necessary for using conditional suppression, but it will make the work flow a little easier. I'm going to go to my parameter screen, locate a parameter I've renamed for dog width, and I'm going to right click and make it a multi-value list and make sure that it has the values of 1.5 inches and 1 inch. Now I have a pull down menu that will quickly let me choose between two available dimensions and avoid any mistypes. Now I'm going to find the text that I'm interested in controlling, right click on it and choose properties. Here I have my conditional suppression and I can tell Inventor to suppress this feature if dog width, here are my available parameters, equal, not equal, less than, greater than and so on and in this case I'm going to choose not equal to. So what we'll have is if the dog width is not equal to one inch, suppress that feature. Next I'm going to go ahead and find the 1.5 inch text, right click and repeat choosing properties, and I'll suppress this one if my dog width is not equal to 1.5 inches and hit OK. So now there we go. What I've done is I've got a bench dog. If the value changes from 1 inch to 1.5 inches, the features will automatically suppress and unsuppress, toggling between the different text values with no interaction of my own, and also eliminated the need to write any kind of code such as in VBA or inside of iLogic. So that's it. I know many of you like using iLogic and would absolutely go in there and use it for this, but here's another option for your consideration depending on what the environment needs. That's it for this video. Thanks for taking the time to watch everyone.